Hello guys and uh, welcome back and this is the first part of my Contra Let's Play aka my Contra Let's Fail. <laughs> I do beat the game despite the name but uh, I, I had invincibility, I had, no, I had unlimited lives because I'm pretty bad at this game and uh, again I'm just, my object is to educate you and you see my first death there is a pretty is a pretty good indication of how bad I am at this game. If you watch my Jack Jackal Let's Play, you heard me say at the end that uh, my Contra skills are ten times worse than my Jackal skills. I believe that to be true. Now, I probably should have done the uh, Konami code in this game, but uh, whatever. This is a little easier for me to do. And uh, I had to use an emulator again because my I didn't I wasn't confident that my NES would. Uh, last basically through the whole game like it would just uh die through the playthrough and also like I don't have to play it all at once. I can use like a save state just to keep off where I left off in case I had to uh, stop in the middle of gameplay. Which I'm pretty sure I did. I, I made it like halfway and then I had to stop and uh save the rest for another day. So I guess there was a benefit to that to that. But like a downfall was I didn't have a controller. So using the game pads so I feel like that definitely hindered my ability as you see me jumping off the cliff right there. I've definitely, I definitely got a little confused, like which buttons were which, because I had to keep thinking about it. Because I think I used the uh, D and F pads as like the A and B buttons. So I definitely an NES controller would have been much more favorable to do this game in. But uh, I just kind of want to see the end of the game and uh, you know have some fun, have some good times, and uh, hopefully you guys do too. So uh, as as usual in my. Uh, my let's plays, let's fails, whatever. My reviews, I I like to uh, share some background knowledge of the game and, uh, you know, just maybe tell some people a little facts that they might have not known about this game. So, for instance, the game is named Contra, but in Europe it was Grizor, and I guess there was a PAL version where it was also called Probotector. Which sounds like a funny, pretty funny name. I am the Probotector, I will defeat you. Sounds like an Arnold Schwarzenegger type game. And, and in essence, this game kind of is. Because the, uh, I don't know if you take a look at the original game art, like the game cover. It's actually inspired from Arnold Schwarzenegger, his character in the Predator movie. So, uh, that's probably why the guy looks somewhat like Arnold. <laughs> like I said, there's two characters in this game, so you could do two players simultaneously, which probably gives you uh, better odds. But uh, the player I'm playing as is Bill Mad Dog Riser. And the other guy, the red guy, I believe, is uh, Lance Scorpion Bean. So uh, those guys have some pretty sweet names. <laughs> as you see, I'm fighting the first boss, which is just like a battle wall. Pretty, pretty simple. Of course, I died a few times from those... Uh, marble cannonball things shooting at me, those red cannonballs, but uh, I got through it with probably a little uh, little scrubness, but I got through it. And this is the second stage. And this is where it introduced like the two types of stages in this game. You have your traditional running gun side scroller, and you also have this like from behind, I guess you'd say, kind of 3D view, where you basically, your object is to just shoot at these well, you shoot the guys that come across, and you'll have, like, these guns shooting, like, on the right. But on the left, you have, like, this blue glowing orb thing that you have to shoot. That really destroys the wall and allows you to move forward. You gotta watch out when you're, uh, doing this part, because I know if you, like, press up, like I do sometimes, you just get electrocuted and you die. So, uh, try not to do that. But, but rather than, uh, to, to go up, like, you hold down to duck, so you just release the down to, to shoot, like, normal again, to shoot at the, uh, blue orb. As you can see, this one here is kind of cool because it's like on the ground. Then that guy was shooting grenades, so I took him out really fast. So uh, another thing about the uh, the game, like your standard weapon is a rifle. It shoots in eight different directions: up, down, left, right, and then the diagonals in between them. It's like the northeast, south, west, you know, all that fun stuff. If you obviously if you get hit in this game, it's a it's an instant death. If you get hit by anything in this game, you're going to die. That's why this game doesn't fuck around, basically. That's why this is probably one of the hardest games for the NES. I mean, you have to be very skilled to like, get through it. So, I mean, like that's a cool thing about the NES days. I feel like games today are, are way more soft. Like, you, 
You don't really get game overs as much anymore. And, but like in this day, back in the NES days, like you had to get good at the game. Like if you were bad at the game, you just kept playing the same levels over and over again and perfecting them until you got better at them. And as you can see, I didn't do that. <laughs> Because uh, that's probably, well, I, I attribute some of it to using a keyboard rather than a controller, but I also attribute some of it to my lack of playing this game. So I, I didn't originally have this game for the NES back in the day, but I picked it up years later at a, uh, a yard sale. So I, I didn't really play it that much, but I just it was a game that I really wanted to have in my collection. So I said, why not? Pick it up. As you can see, this boss is a giant slot machine with like a blue alien head shooting out and uh, friggin' shelves open and shoot cannonball that, you know, I don't know, slot machine boss, whatever. <laughs> that was the end of stage two. It's not, not too bad. I mean, I died a, quite a bit, as opposed to like the experienced player who'd be able to probably dodge almost every shot there. But, uh, you know, now we move on to the waterfall, though, which is, uh, I feel like this is where it starts to uh, get more difficult. Like the first two levels are just like, oh, we're just, we're just trying out, but then these levels, they're just like, they're hardcore. You got a lot going on. You got guys running at you from every direction. You got boulders falling down and shit. It's just like, it's madness. I know I say that every freaking game. I'm talking about madness and whatnot. I don't know. I feel like it is madness. <laughs> no, not Sparta madness. Just Nintendo NES Konami madness. <laughs> So, uh, evidently the basic main plot of this game was you were going to stop this, it says a terrorist group called Red Falcon Organization, but it's like, but they're taking over Earth. So, but, like, these things are like aliens, so it's just like, I don't know, an alien terrorist group, I guess, I don't know, it's not like the Taliban, it's like alien terrorists, so alien terrorists don't fuck around. They're called the Red Falcon. I wonder if they have any association with Captain Falcon of the Blue Falcon. If he's like a uh, anti-Red Falcon, or I don't know. What about Blood Falcon from F Zero? Is he is he is he a Red Falcon member? I don't know. <laughs> just just some random things that I would think about when I was playing this game. So uh, as you as you can see, I forgot to mention that you get upgrades in this game. It's like those eagle things, but like the different letters. Like, like, see there's like a turret in the left corner. Like sometimes those are just those eagle emblems or whatever. And it's different upgrades you'd get. Like I assume M would be the machine gun. L would be the laser. S would be the spread shot, which I find to be one of the more effective ones. There's like the fire one, which I don't like as much. So the fire one, I think I was doing it earlier. You kind of just... If you, sh it's, it's weird, like, if you, like, spam it, if you just spam shoot it with, like, B the whole time, you're, it doesn't, like, shoot as far, it, like, shoots weird, like, you almost have to, like, wait till it, like, shoots out and then shoot another one, as you see, I got the spread one, which is definitely the best one in the game, but then that asshole with the fucking backpack was chasing me, he fucking ganked me, and I just fall off the cliff for extra measure, no big deal, because I'm clearly really good at jumping in this game. <laughs> Oh my god, that was just... I'm sorry, this is embarrassing. <laughs> uh, I have no shame, I guess. And then they said there's a rapid fire and a barrier one. I, I don't know if I've gotten the barrier, but I guess it's like a shield. So it'll protect you, like, invincibility, like a star, or like, whatever, and... Mario, you know, just brief invincibility. I think I'm finally getting to the top of this waterfall level. This level's kind of a pain in the I just can't believe I survived that one right there. The guys, it's just, this, this game, you have a lot of, uh, timing. And then there's also a lot of, like, just guys running around. Like, I hate, I hate games where, like, there's just random guys running around. Just to fuck you over, basically. Like, if you remember in, uh, <clears throat> if you ever played Zelda 2, uh, random guys, like, there's those. In the first temple, there's those damn rat guys that are just coming, I mean... They're just going pretty straight. I think Castlevania, they had like random zombie people or whatever just running at you from every direction. They just keep coming. That's what I feel about these trooper guys. They just keep coming at you and they don't fuck around. Here's a third boss. It looks like a friggin'... I don't even know. It's definitely an alien, but like... It 
it's like standing still and its arms look kind of like weird. It looks like you get like four balls and then like a friggin' I don't know, a koosh ball attached to the end. I don't know, and it shoots fireballs. This guy's this guy doesn't mess around. I guess he's behind like a great tower, like I don't know if that's part of him or if it's just like a tower. I don't know. Like here, I remember getting here and I was just like, alright, I guess I just shoot at his head, right? Like his blinking red eyes or his face, his mouth, I don't know. I think he only hit him when... I'm not sure if it hurts him when you just shoot his mouth when it's closed or if it has to be open to hurt him. I don't know, I was just trying my best, jumping, just jumping around like a dickhead and uh, shooting in all directions. Whatever, you know, I'll, I'll finish it. It's just, uh, it's not the most beautiful run you've probably ever seen in this game. Probably the most ugly, but I get the job done, and, you know, I just, I kind of wanted to beat this game. It's another Konami game I'd never beat back in the day, and I just, uh, figured why not? Let's play it. Let's fail. Whatever. <laughs> Might be fun for you people. I think he's almost done here, though. Let's see, a couple more shots. A mouth. It's like he shoots the three shots at you and then like the cooch ball hand shoot. Alright, he's dead now. Well guys, thanks for turning for part one of my Contra Let's Play. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.